Have you ever wondered how our universe was born? Or perhaps an even more mind-boggling question, what existed before our universe? While scientists are still searching for answers to these deep and complex mysteries, let's explore what they've discovered so far and how these theories have transformed our understanding of existence. Picture this. In the 20th century, one man, Edwin Hubble, changed everything we knew about the cosmos. One day, high atop Mount Wilson in southern California, Hubble directed his telescope into the heavens. What he found was astonishing. Those mysterious clouds of gas scattered across the sky were actually entire galaxies, and there were far more of them than anyone could have imagined. But he made an even more groundbreaking discovery those galaxies were moving, expanding outward. Why does this matter? Well, if the universe is expanding, then logically it must have had a beginning. The idea that the universe had a starting point laid the foundation for what we now call the Big Bang Theory. But what exactly does this theory entail? According to the Big Bang Theory, there was a time when nothing existed, not even space or time. Our universe began as a cosmic singularity, a point of unimaginable density and heat. It was as if all the matter and energy we see now were compressed into a single, blistering hot ball. Under extreme pressure, this singularity exploded, releasing an incredible burst of energy, the Big Bang. This explosion didn't just create matter, it also created the dimensions of space and time, along with fundamental forces. The aftermath of this event was chaotic. Tiny particled quarks, the building blocks of all matter, boiled in a scorching cosmic soup. As the universe began to cool, gravity helped these quarks bind together, forming atoms and eventually molecules. Over time, these molecules gave rise to stars and galaxies, and here we are, 12 to 14 billion years later, pondering our cosmic origins. Yet, one question remains, what was before the Big Bang? This is where things get even more intriguing. Enter Alan Harvey Guff, a renowned physicist who noticed some problems with the Big Bang theory. For instance, matter in the universe is distributed quite evenly, which seems unlikely if the Big Bang were as chaotic as an exploding paint balloon splattering across a canvas. Instead, Guth proposed the theory of inflation. According to him, an unknown force accelerated the universe's expansion, distributing everything evenly and instantaneously before the Big Bang. Most scientists accept Guth's idea, but not everyone is satisfied. German physicist Martin Bojewald offers an alternative. Our universe may be part of a continuous cycle. Remember that cosmic singularity... Bojold argues that it couldn't have appeared out of nowhere. He likens time to the ticking of a clock, with quantum time behaving more like a second hand, moving in discrete steps. In this view, the universe expands and eventually contracts, collapsing back into a singularity, only to explode again. This means our universe could be just one in a series of infinite rebirths. And then there are even wilder theories. Physicist Neil Turok and Paul Steinhardt take us beyond the boundaries of our universe with the concept of parallel worlds. According to them, our universe is a membrane or brain floating in a higher dimensional space. Imagine countless sheets of fabric, each representing a universe, all moving and interacting. Occasionally, these brains collide, creating new universes in a series of big bangs. Our universe could be separated from another by an infinitesimally small gap that we can't perceive, a space containing an extra dimension. These theories sound bizarre, almost like science fiction, but they're rooted in complex frameworks like string theory and M-theory. Scientists like Turok and Steinhardt have had to defy conventional thinking, even when faced with ridicule. After all, science has always evolved through challenge and skepticism. People once believed the Earth was flat and dismissed the Big Bang Theory as fantasy. But without pushing boundaries, we wouldn't progress. So, which theory is correct? At present, no one knows. We can only hypothesize and hope that one day, our understanding will deepen enough to unlock the secrets of our universe's origin. Until then, our curiosity continues to drive us forward. If you enjoyed exploring the mysteries of the cosmos, don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you're craving more mind-bending content, check out the other videos on our channel and stay on the bright side of science.